Welcome everybody to my channel. Thank you so much to my subscribers. Welcome newcomers. I hope you like what you see and if so, be part of this journey with me by hitting that subscription button and also bell notification to be notified of my new uploads. Thank you to all of you that have been with me and are just embarking. I can't thank you enough. Also, I want to thank everybody that has been helping, either donating through the PayPal or Super Chat for the women in need of thread. And for the ones that are considering, please do so. They really are desperate in need. Thank you so much. I also want to mention that I do have a private crochet group. If you do have a profile, you can request and be a member there. Um, I also have TikTok and instagram and facebook page crochet so you can follow me there you can always get a hold of me much faster uh, by messaging me through one of these other medias and we are going to get started so most of the time now i use 2.75 hook or 3 or 3.5 my threads are portugal threads they only sell them here in portugal they're 100 percent cotton threads um they're similar to Lydia number three uh, cotton, but a little bit thinner. So my patterns become smaller than Lydia number three. You also will need a pair of scissors and uh, we're going to get started. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up on the video. It's extremely important and it helps the channel a lot. If possible, you can share, bring your friends and family along. It would be also very helpful. Thank you so much, everyone. Let's get started. Okay, everyone, so we're going to create, this is going to be a doily, but this uh, officially can be a rug if you use the macrame uh, thick thread. It would be perfect for this type of rug. It's not an oval, it's a half oval, half square, so it's a mixture of both. It is not my design. I don't know who uh, designed it. It's It's been a while that uh, this pattern has been created. And some of my friends have created it and asked me to do the tutorial on it because it's so popular. So I'm going to. So it's, uh, you know, and another thing, you can go as big as you want. It starts by the granny square, which I'm using leftover, some leftover threads. I have the pink and lime green, uh, the multicolored green, and the uh, off-white cream at the end and also I added uh, these pearls but normally it would take smaller pearls as if you're using rugs you don't want big pearls to be stepping on it and get hurt or don't use any if you don't want to but it is beautiful I can tell you that and I'm sure by the picture already of course the tutorial is done by the time this goes up these are four ply 100% cotton thread which I made a live video that there was a lot of people requesting these threads and I mentioned that I can ship it out to you it's twelve dollars a hundred uh, grams um, and you have to order at least six because the shipping is an arm and an eyeball so um, in a minimum of six to ship out because it takes forever for me to stand in line at the post office since it's one little post office for a whole village Okay, so you can always email me or follow me through my group, uh, request uh, to be in my group, or follow me on my crochet page. It's all in the same name, Crochet Art Tutorials by Maggie Lopez, Instagram or TikTok. You can mens men uh, message me if you're interested, then let me know. And once I do have a few orders in, then I'll ship everything out together because I don't feel like going every day or every second day to the post office and wait two, three hours in line. Okay. Um, I will eventually do a live video with the numbers because these threads are by numbers, not by names. And uh, this is similar to Aunt Lydia number three, cotton, a little bit thinner. So obviously the patterns are thinner. But it would be perfect you don't necessarily have to order in the cream or the whites you can use Aunt Lydia and then if you order on these colors whatever colors you want um, you can mix it with Aunt Lydia so that is less of shipping and I prefer Aunt Lydia actually when it's like for doilies and and rugs and things like that because it's thicker it's a little bit bigger so your pattern becomes bigger okay so these are eight millimeters make sure that you are careful with the little uh, 
round here because uh, the, the pearl can be eight millimeters, but the little hole can be too small to enter your thread. And um, let's get started. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up on the video. It's extremely important. I'm going to use a 2.75 hook, but you can use a 3 or a 3.5. It's up to you. Depending upon your tension, your thread, you should know by now to use a hook bigger or two than your normal if your tension is too tight. Okay, and if it's too um, loose, then use a hook or two smaller. Of course, it's a little bit harder because then the threads all start coming out apart, so you have to be more slow and more careful. Let's get started, everyone. We need. I'm going to do only three, but you can use four or five, depending upon the size you would like. Because this is just a sample demonstration for you guys, I'm going to use only three, so at least you can have the the uh, the idea of what this doily or rug looks like. I'm going to do the magic circle. In case you don't know how, then do a four or five chain, depending upon your tension. And I'm going to do the... Um, uh, four groups of three double crochet to start off this granny. So I do one chain and then I come back in and do a single and two more chain. And I leave a little bit of thread so I can hook my pearl at the end and also to tuck in your loose ends, it's more safer. So two chain space and three more double crochet. So we'll have four groups of three double crochet to make your granny square. I've done my four groups of three double crochet and now I'm going to do one chain only and I'm going to come in on my third one here. We're not um, closing it in because we're going to start from here the second row and I'm going to do a sideways double crochet. One, two chain because of the closing makes already three and I'm going to do three double crochet, one chain space and I'm coming in to the other corner and create, we'll finish this corner here once we come around and create my shell of three double crochet, two chain space Okay, and one chain again. If your tension is extremely tight, then do two chain. So I'm going to complete and I'll come here at the end and I'm cutting my thread. So I've done my one chain, I'm going to come and I'm going to complete my last shell that we had started only with three double crochet, two chain, and close it in with slip stitch. I'm going to come in with the multicolored green. Okay, so we're going to come in the corner now with the multicolored green, single, and we're going to build those shells in the corners the normal way because we're cutting the thread right after this. So three double crochet, two chain, and three more double crochet. And I wonder if my volume is Oh my goodness, you never know where to turn this volume up. Anyway, I'll figure it out after. So, do your three double crochet, one chain again, come in the space of the two chain. Most of you should know already how to build a granny square, but there's always uh, new people coming into the channel that don't know yet they're still learning so one chain space and into the corner and create your shell of three double crochet of course we have three here probably didn't mention and two chain space and three more double crochet we're going to do this all the way around and then cut our thread one chain and come back in with three double crochet and then I'm going to come in with the off-white, the cream, to add onto the other squares. So I've pulled my string to the front and I've put my pearls. So I'm just going to come across with the same string, of course, 
and bring the string to the back and tie it in the back so the pearl can stay in place. If you don't want to do it this way, then you can just put a bit of string through your pearl and make two, three knots in the back. Normally I do it that way too, but because I'm just doing a quick uh, sample here, I'm just going to do it this way. But I a lot of times do it this way too, even for uh, patterns that I sell and for myself or for gifts or whatever the case may be. Which a little reminder on the videos, any patterns that you like, you can always order them and you could always get a hold of me, like I said, through the emails or through a uh, message on my Facebook page or the Instagram and you can order um, some of my patterns um, because I get a lot of requests on the crochet groups and usually I don't um, I don't even answer a lot of them because it costs so much on shipping but sometimes people you know they don't mind paying the extra for the shipping to get it so slip stitch knot I'm coming in with the off white and then we're going to add onto that granny square so come in with a single two chain and two more double crochet we're doing those three double crochets okay I'm going to do one chain and I'm coming in back to back on the corner and closing in with single coming back in and doing completing that shell of the three double crochets one chain I'm coming in on the next one or the where the two chain is and I'm going to do my three double crochets so we're adding these on one chain again coming into the two space uh, one space chain back here I don't know why I say two space because I'm so used to doing two uh, two chain that's why so three double crochet again one chain coming in my last one chain space on the other uh, square coming back into the corner do your three double crochets one chain and I'm grabbing the corner that square with a single coming back in and I'm going to complete the rest of my square now don't cut your thread because we're going to continue to work by there with it okay so I'll meet you at the end okay everyone I had said not to cut the thread I was wrong you need to cut the thread and if you're using different colors here's the time where we're, we use a different color I'm coming in with the pink right on the corner on the long part and we're going to do the three double crochets um, this will be for the shell but we're not going to complete it until we come around so we're doing only three and then once we come around then we'll complete it so I'm going to do one more And one chain space coming into the next space we want to create those three double crochets whatever we're doing on this side of course you know you have to do on the other side one chain again if your stitch is too tight then either use a bigger hook or two a size bigger or two or do a two chain one chain I'm coming in on the last chain space here okay we still need to create a group here so we're going to do one inside of that space one in the center here in between don't loosen it too much tighten enough so it can uh, look normal together one chain and then again and we'll do the same thing to the other square as we're getting there one chain so I'll meet you here again so we're getting to in between whoops I have to do my my one chain um, one inside you could go 
either in or over. It's up to you. One chain and I'm going to come in cut this thread here because I had a knot on it. Now it's going to change up a bit. So we're going to do the three double crochets in here. That's going to change getting here to the corner. So we're doing these three here. So basically, this last one we're not doing. We're doing that one chain. And we're coming in on the last double crochet. One chain. We're coming in the first double crochet and we're going to have an increase here on the third one, this one here, two together. So we'll have four double crochets on here. Okay. Two chain coming into the next one. Doing the three double crochets here and an increase on this last one, two together, one chain. We're coming directly inside, no, yes, okay you guys. So instead of doing one chain on the edges, I'm going to do two chain because I don't want it to pull, but I'm going to tighten that chain up. I'm not going to make a loose chain. We're coming directly on top of the double crochets and doing three double crochets. And on this same one, we're doing an increase, okay? Because we need these, are going to keep increasing these three all the way to the edge, because that's our round to chain. I'm coming in to the uh, first double crochet with one double crochet to chain, coming in on the one chain space and creating the three double crochets, two chain, and doing my shell at the corner, my normal shell, because like I said, one corner will be square, and the next corner will be oval, so uh, two chain space. Do your shell, and here we start with one chain on the uh, both sides. So the two chains are going to be only on the edges. Okay, uh, one chain. We're going to repeat the same thing as we did with the um, in between squares. coming inside of the corner of the square. You can go over or in. I think in it closes up the pattern better so it doesn't give it that big gap. And we're going to repeat this until I meet you here. Okay? Because these two will be the round and these two will be the square corners. Okay? So where we have the normal shell, square corners, where we have the increases will be the oval, okay? So I'll meet you here at the other corner. So we're getting to almost a corner, doing my one chain, creating my three
one chain. I'm coming on top of the double crochet and creating that one double crochet exactly how we did on the opposite side. One chain. I'm coming on top of the double crochet and doing exactly how we did it on the opposite side. Doing one double crochet and increase and two chain and coming into the next double crochet, double crochet and on the last one two double crochets together. So we have the increase there and we're going to have to do again the increase on here. So one, two chain, I'm coming in, I'm doing the three double crochets and an increase on the last one. Two chain. I'm coming in. Exactly how we have here. One double crochet. Two chain. And doing my normal three double crochets, two chain, completing my shells. So we have shells on the opposite sides. And doing my side double crochet so we can be in the center. So we have the increase on the last one, two chain, the increase here and also here. Same thing as we did on this side. one, two, and creating that shell. Where you have shells, it stays shells. We will complete it when we come back. One chain space on these sides. I'm keeping it at one chain space. Only at the edges I do two chain because we don't want it to be pulling. This stays the same until we get to that one chain here. So just create your little blocks all the way of three double crochet all the way until we get to that one double crochet uh, place, space, whatever you want to call it. So now it's just creating little blocks inside of the one chain space, okay? And I'll meet you here at one, at the one double crochet just before it. Okay, so I'm arriving where I have my one double crochet, one chain. We're going to create a group here, so two inside of the space and one on top of the double crochet. One chain and where we have the increases on the corners, we keep them an increase. So always doing one double crochet and on the last one, two together. Now we're always going to have a row that has one double crochet, like the first one here, and then group. Next row will be one double crochet, next row the group, okay? Just to give you an idea. Two, double, uh, two uh, chain and start to do your double crochets and then the increase at the end. Here on the sides we'll be doing two chain we'll do double crochet and we'll have the increase here on this one. Two chain on top of the double crochet, two inside of the space, Two chain and 
your three double crochets again and where we have the shell continues as the shell to chain and create your shell your normal shell to chain three double crochet So we know that this is the oval and this is the square. This is the uh, square and the oval. They're the opposite sides, okay? So now continue to do your double crochets inside of the space. And here we do two and one on top. One chain and then the increase, two chain and then the increase at the end. We're just going to repeat exactly what we did here. So if you get confused and you don't want to rewind, you can just look at this side and create the same thing. Okay. Okay, you guys, so I've reached the end. I've put my three double crochets. We're going to do the double crochet sideways. So we can stay here on the center. Now you can either go up directly three chain or you can come in and do a single and two chain. It's really up to you. We'll complete the shell once we come around. One chain and create your, your three double crochets. So it's going to stay the same. Where you have your increases, you do your increases. So we're just creating the three double crochets inside of that one chain space. Nothing to it. And when we get here, we're going to do that one double crochet. Remember I said one row, one double crochet, one row of the group, one row of double crochet, uh, one double crochet group, one double crochet group, okay? Where we have the increase, we're doing the increase. And I can see I forgot to do an increase here, but this is good when I make a mistake because then I'll show you instead of taking everything down how we're going to add that increase here because I totally forgot to put two together on the last one. Okay, so I'll meet you here so you guys can see how it's done, especially for new beginners because some of you already know how I do it. Okay, so I'll meet you there. Okay, everyone. So I've arrived on that one that I forgot to do my increase. And this is especially important for beginners that are just coming out. So you're going to turn twice on your hook. You're going to come down here on the very last one that we're supposed to have that increase. And you're going to take out once. I'm going to come right on top of that once that I just did. And I'm going to do my normal double crochet. So now I have my increase below and I'm going to do my other increase on the last double crochet. So this is a way of avoiding to take everything down. I think these are good techniques for you guys to learn. So to chain and don't forget to do your increase where the increase is needed. Don't forget like I did, right? But these are common things to happen. I mean, it's very rare that anybody will not make a mistake. I sure as do. And I don't add it. I like to show my mistakes so I can teach you guys how you can fix it without taking it down. Two chain. So here we're going to do one double crochet only to chain and continue. Remember what, what I said about where we have that one double crochet? We'll have one row with one double crochet and the next row we'll be doing the group. Okay? So we'll have one here and we'll have one here always and on the other side the same thing. We'll have um, one double crochet. I'm still getting around it. One double crochet here 
and we'll have one double crochet here okay so I'll meet you at the end of the row because now it's just uh, a repeat of everything that we just done so basically where you have your shell you do your shell normal shell the corners Now, I get a lot when I do like rugs, and yes, they're absolutely stunning, of course. And I get a lot of comments in the groups um, or friends, and they say, Oh my god, I would never put that on the ground to be stepped on. You need to remember that we need to enjoy the good and pretty things in this lifetime we bring nothing with us we don't know what's on the other side it's the mystery of the divine so why not and enjoy what you can here if it ruins you create another one so what makes it fun but enjoy the good things of life don't like stop don't not like stop using things or not wanting to use things because it's too pretty for the floor so what? Have your floor pretty. It's not like you're out on the mud and coming in with boots or something, unless, you know, you got your boys or men or husband. It's, but you know how to put them in their, in their place. Come in, shoes off, slips on, flip-flops, whatever you want to throw them at them. They should know best. You should be the leader of your house. So don't worry about that. Just enjoy the good things of life, okay? So we'll continue and don't forget here we'll do one double crochet exactly like here and then the increases again so i'll meet you at the end okay everyone so i've reached the end i'm going to do that sideways double crochet and again either you go up three chain or you come in and do your single one chain two chain and then you do your two double crochet so you'll have the half shell and then when we come around we complete it now you can go up as many rows as you like I'm going to do about eight rows and then I'm going to come in with a, a row of the off-white and then a row of the pink and a row of the off-white again so when I'm done the eight rows, I'll come back and show you. It's always a repeat now where we have the increase, continue the increase where we have. So next row is the group. Next row is one double crochet where we have that one double crochet either there or on the sides. And everything else stays the same. So very simple. Once I am finished my eight rows, I'll come back to you and I'll be changing colors after my eighth row. Okay, so there's no point of recording the same thing over. It's just a repeat of what we've done. So you could always look when you are on that one um, double crochet. You can see it's going to be the group right after. So you're going to come inside and put your two double crochets and continue your groups. Where the shell is, it stays shell. And where we have the increase, it, you know, you have to continue the increase. Remembering that it's two chain on this side and two chain space on this side. And on the sides, the longer side, it's one chain space. Okay, so I'll see you at the end of my eighth row. I'm starting one, two, three, four, and I'm counting eight rows from here the pink one, two, three. I'm going into the fourth. I'll meet you then. Okay, everyone, so I've done row eight of the pink, and I'm coming in directly where the square changing colors so I'm going to complete the shell here because I'm changing colors there's no point of only doing three and then coming back and finishing it because I'm going to change colors again back to the pink on the next round so we're just going to repeat and it will be the same thing on the next row also with the pink I'm just going to come in the corner and do my shell and then proceed the same way as we've been doing 
I'll come back to you at the end once I'm done all of these rows. Um, you could always advance the video and see where I'm at. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end of my row. So next row will be pink also, and I'm going to start from the corner also. Okay, everyone, so I've done up to row 11. So I've changed here row 9 in the off-white and then pink and then off-white. I'm going to come in this last row that I'm doing for the pattern after it's just the ending. We have two more rows left. So this is the last one with the same almost the same I should say. So this row will not have any increases. It's just going to be um, we're doing the single two chain. We're going to do our shell. So we did the shell and then we're doing one double crochet per space, okay? This is all double crochets all the way around and there will be no increase. Inside of the one chain space we're doing only one double crochet and then continue to do double crochet over double crochet. So very simple, there's nothing to it. We're just pretty much closing out the pattern one inside the space and one double crochet per space and then once I'm done this row I'm cutting my thread and I'm going to come back in again with the um, off white just to complete my last row. Now of course this is small as a doily but if you're doing it with a macrame thread then it will be a nice big rug okay and it's perfect depending upon the colors that you use it's perfect like in this case it's pink even as a doily the matching doily for the uh, bedroom little girl's room it's just perfect okay so I'm going to complete mine I got a knot here on my thread I'm trying to take my knot off okay and then I'll meet you at the end uh, to do the last row together. So everything is just double crochet in the one chain space, double crochet everywhere. And here we usually do the increase. We are not doing the increase. We're just doing one double crochet inside of the two chain here. Okay, so that's all there is to it. I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone, so I'm coming in with the off weight on my last row. I'm just going to start here just where we have that one double crochet we are at the edge I'm going to come in and do a single and one two chain I'm going to come in the center of my corner, my my shell, and do a double crochet. One, two, three, picot with single. And again, so I'm going to have four double crochets and three picots, I believe. I'll see how it goes. I'm going to do one more here in the corner because I don't want it to pull. So I'll do five double crochets and four picots. This is for the corner only because we don't want it to be pulling. Two chain. I'm going to skip one, two, three on my fourth. Let me see if it works out. I think it does. One, two, 
chain. I'm going to skip one, two, three on my fourth. Now I'm going to do only the four double crochets all in the same space and three picots. Only the corners are going to be five where the shells are. And then two chain, one, two, three on my fourth single, one, two chain, one, two, three on my fourth. Again, I'm going to repeat the four double crochets and the three picots. I'm going to do this until we get here to the uh, curve, just to make sure that if we might have to skip only three and not four so it doesn't pull on the pattern okay but this is how it is and on the other side of the shell we're going to do the same thing as we did here the five double crochets and four p cuts i'll meet you at the edge okay i'm getting already to the edge it seems to be okay so far so i don't have to make any uh changement on it i don't have to change anything if i felt that it was pulling I would have um, cut down on the space, but it's not, so it's working out just fine. So I'm just going to continue to do it. If, if there's any changes, I'll come back and let you know. But so far, uh, we're going to continue. Now, of course, when we get to the corners here, if we need to make an adjustment, then we will. But, I mean, look how pretty that's looking, right? It's just gorgeous. It's more even prettier on, on in person. I look in the camera and this looks like a like a baby pink, but in reality, it's a very pink almost salmon. So the camera doesn't do its justice to the color. I don't know if you guys see the same color as I do, but my camera shows pink, pink. Well, not that it's ugly. Pink is beautiful, but. I wish I can see the same color on here on the camera, but anyway, it's okay. So I'm going to continue and then I'll come back to you if there's any changes. Okay, everyone. So we're reaching the other shell, the other corner. And what I did was instead of skipping uh, one, two, three and go on the fourth, I went in my fifth. So it wouldn't be too much of a still doing my two chains and don't forget here on the corners we're going to do those five double crochets and the four picots just so it doesn't uh, stretch too much on there so I just went over one more space oh but Maggie it's it's pulling too much well you can do another chain if you'd like But it shouldn't once you do your five double crochets and your four P cuts, it should not pull because it, it uh, sort of like uh, lies together. Because if I just pay attention when on the two chain and when I go here, it's pulling a bit. But once you do the other ones, it all comes together. Okay, one, two, three, four. I'm going to do one more. No, hold on. One, two, three, four, five. Sorry, it's five, five p cuts and uh, five uh, double crochets and four p cuts. So one, two, three on my fourth. One, two, three. No, I'm gonna go over. One, two, three. One, two, three. Four. I'm gonna go over to my fifth. One, two. One, two, three on my fourth. And proceed again the same thing. The three picots and four double crochet all the way to the end. So there's nothing else to adjust here so far. So as you know, even though um, people ask me to create other things and even when I don't know who 
the designer is. I always have my own twist on the pattern so I change it and this edge is my twist not the official one that's like on on the picture okay but I'm sure somebody must have done it one two three and four because there's a lot of these patterns going around so at least out of my friends a lot of them have created it okay so I'm going to continue until the end and then come back to you at the end once I am completely done with it okay everyone pretty much done the doily I think it's absolutely gorgeous I hope you think so too so I'll have the pictures and a little video at the end Please don't forget to give a thumbs up on the video. It's extremely important. If possible, share. Sharing is caring. And also, like I mentioned, if you're interested in threads, they're $12, 100 grams. 100 grams is between 300 and 325 yards. For most of you, you go by yards. And minimum of six um, balls of thread because it's too much for me at the post office waiting so long to ship something out of course you know the shipping is coming from portugal and europe so it takes about depending up on each country and their services but it takes about between two to three to three and a half weeks arrival or it could be faster it could be a week depending like i said on your services at your country Okay, so we'll see you in the next tutorial. Thank you so much, everyone. Until next time, God bless. I send you much love and much hugs to every single one of you. Remember, if you're going through a rough time, tomorrow's another day. And the top of one hill is always the bottom of the next. Stay positive. Until next time. Bye-bye, everyone.